What's up, guys? It's your boy, the Piscean Predator. I'm back with that TPP True Crime Talk, baby. Yes, before we get started, you know the drill. Can you smash that like and that subscribe for your boy? Appreciate you greatly. Seriously. All love, man. All love. All my subscribers out there, you guys are awesome. Um, yeah, what else can I say? What else can I say? Let's jump into this topic. That's what I can say, right? Let's just get into it. Stop your rambling. <laughs> all right guys so topic for this video is alex murdoch right the murdoch saga and then the saga continues so today we got some fresh news right we got some fresh news and it's going to lead to some speculation my friends guaranteed absolutely guaranteed because why that's what we do right that's what the true crime community does we get a little information we kick it around some of us will speculate rationally, and some of us will get a little bit crazy, get them conspiracy theories cracking, right? And we, and we see that, we've seen that plenty over the last couple of weeks with the Koberger case too, man. Every time something little comes out, dude, people will create this crazy narrative and story conspiracy, like, theory, like, man, some of y'all should be, you know, fictional authors with all that stuff, man. You're in your wrong spot. Get out of true crime, go write some books, bro, because your imaginations are wild. That being said... Alex Murdoch, we found a day, found a day, found out today. He um he re, he was recounting he recounted recounted recanted his story about Gloria Satterfield and how she died. Now he's claiming that there were no dogs. There were no dogs that caused her fall down those stairs, and that he had made that whole scenario up so that he would be able to have the insurance sued and, you know, get the family paid, even though he got the insurance sued and he took the money and yeah, that was it. You know what I mean? And he went and did what, he, what Alex does. And that was, you know, pills and girls, you know? So man, what is that though? Right? Let's speculate. Let's speculate a little bit, man. Okay. So we know what he's in jail for. We know what he did. We, from the financial crimes to the murders, we know what's up. We know what time it is. We know exactly what this man is capable of. But now we know he's admitted that dogs did not cause that fall. So what caused that fall, man? What caused that lady to fall? She just magically tripped down the stairs that she'd been working around for years and years and years. Like, I don't know, man. It seems kind of sus to me, right? I mean, I could be wrong. I mean, I say right because, you know, I guess I'm just talking to myself here. But, yeah, guys, like, that's, that's, I mean, I want to say that's crazy because that's, the, you know, that's to my typical response. But dealing with this dude and this family, I guess it's not that crazy that we're hearing this now. And I guess a lot of us probably already felt, you know, that the dog story was bullshit anyways. But we just didn't really understand, you know, like. That we were right, I guess. I mean, most of us, you know, we all thought it was BS and we were right. There's literally no dogs. So, if there was no dogs, what did she trip over, right? It was an accident? Are we still thinking it was an accident? Or was this man, was he plotting and scheming? You know what I mean? Plotting and scheming. I mean, there's no telling because it's like, she had worked for that, Gloria Satterfield had worked for that family for so long. And everybody, you know, took that factor into the situation you know to think with a you know thinking logically not like an evil person and saying well you know she she's worked for this family forever she's helped raise these damn kids you know this and that like there's no way man there's no way they would have killed her for fraud you know insurance fraud and get money i i now we know that that's probably not the case now we we know right because he straight up t said that the dogs weren't the thing so what was the thing what was the thing? In my opinion, I don't think she tripped on accident, dude. I'm just go ahead and say it. It's a speculation. There's no way to prove it. But the simple fact that he came out and recanted the dog story, it's like, what is the real story? What is the absolute real story? Like, yeah, I don't think it was accident, though, guys. I really don't. And, uh, I mean, I don't think we're ever going to get an answer to it. You know what I mean? Um, but I... I yeah, I just wanted to jump on and talk about it, you know, like, shit's wild, man, it is wild, how, how much one person can lie, and how deep they can take those lies, but see, here's the other thing too, right, as we all know, Alec is a, is a damn liar, 
an evil man, right? We all know this. But now, this little tidbit of information, it really leads to the fact that the motive, right? For why he did what he did to his wife and son. So this kind of leads into that because let's think about it, right? It's like, okay, so we're not going to ever know if he really, if anybody pushed her down the stairs or if it was an accident, which, come on, dude, we, it probably wasn't an accident. But that being said, who was at that house when that accident happened, right? He wasn't there by, she wasn't there by herself. Like the whole story that we got is BS, but we know that there were two people there, right? Paul was there and Maggie was there. So if Paul and Maggie were there, that means that they, they went along with that lie. They went along with that story, with that narrative, right? Knowing that it, it wasn't right, they still went along with it. So that kind of leads, you know, <laughs> that lends us a, a huge clue of what type of people all of them were, right? All of them were. They're all down for some fraud. They're all down for family secrets. I mean, that's a fact now. Because there was no way that they were there during that happening and didn't know that Alex fabricated the story of the dogs, right? They had to have known that. So that being said, it's like, what else did they know that Alec knew that they knew that made it it's so easy for him to get rid of them? I mean, dude... It's crazy, man. And we're, we're never going to know these secrets, dude. We're never going to know. All that's going to happen, Alex is going to get fucking, he's going to get prosecuted for more, you know, financial crimes, and those are going to stick. There's no way that they're ever going to retry his trial. He's done. He's roasted. He's cooked. That's it. So he's never going to get out of jail. So he has no reason to ever tell the truth about anything. I mean, there really isn't any reason, you know? Outside of writing a book, but then there's no even reason for him, no other, there's no reason for him to even write a book because he's, he's not going to get the proceeds from that, right? So the only way, the only person that would benefit from Alex, like, writing a tell-all book, you know, because that'd be the only profitable thing out of him telling the truth. And unless there's some profit in it, you know he's not going to tell the truth, right? So... You know, the only benefit of him writing a book, a tell-all, like, you know, confessing everything in a book or something so that, you know, it could go out and they could make a, mon a lot of money. The only way I could see that happening is if he wrote, you know, and then, you know, maybe Buster put it out and Buster took the, the proceeds, right? That's about the only way that story is going to make money. And I think that's about the only way we'll ever hear the truth of it all. Um, because outside of that, like I said, he has no reason to say anything. He doesn't. He, he's already in there for life. He's done. And it, it just isn't. Like, he, he's not going to ever say it to clear his conscience, you know, to, you know, find God, ask forgive, forgiveness, all that stuff. He's never going to go that route. This type of individual, never. So the only way we'd ever hear the facts, you know, the actual factual story is if he did a tell-all book and he figured out a way to where the you know the financial proceeds would go to his son or something and that's about it and then you know obviously his son's gonna put money on his books or he will take care of him and whatnot but i think it's the only way we're ever gonna really know you know what happened to gloria if if he had any connections to steven because i that steven smith case i it's like we know what it is we know it was a homicide now but i don't know if we're ever gonna find out anything more than that you know the, we had names of two you know two potential uh persons of interest but i haven't heard anything more on that right so uh unless these people of interest they end up confessing to it which i don't i don't see happening i don't think we're ever going to find out i really don't um and i still bewildered on why that stephen smith case got reopened during you know alex murdoch's uh murder you know investigation why that was happening so it like lends you to the idea that there's definitely should be like a connection somewhere because like why else would that be unless it was just a major coincidence you know what i mean but with this stuff you know coincidences are usually not just coincidence so i don't know guys i, I don't know if we're ever going to hear the truth on any of this stuff but getting that little bit of detail 
he gave enough just to to admit to the fraud, to the financial crime part of it. But I just don't think we're ever going to hear anything else besides that. Um, I think it's just going to be one of those mysteries, you know. But uh, that being said, guys, that's the that's the the Murdoch saga update with Mr. Alec Murdoch. Uh, God, he's evil. God, that's an evil dude, man. Just dirty. But um, let me know what you guys think about all this. Do you guys, you know, are you surprised that he confessed to that little that little tidbit? Do you guys think that uh, we'll ever hear the truth? You know, do you think he might actually end up writing a book later on? You know, a tell all for his son to publish and, and reap the the financial gains from interested to see what you guys think about all this um because i haven't really heard anybody else talking about it. everybody talks about how financially screwed he is but yeah he probably still has money tied up somewhere and this and that but nobody's ever really talked about like that dude writing a book because come on let's face it like all these dudes are smart all these these financial crime type guys people like him they're smart they know how to play chess and the simple fact that I haven't heard anybody hit that angle with the fact that he could go ahead and, you know, have somebody write his book and have uh, his son put it out. Like, nobody's really talked about that possibility. Um, so I'm, I wonder what you think about that. What do you guys think about that? Do you think it's a possibility that later on we might we might hear it? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But in, in my mind, though, we probably never hear it. Maybe that that book is a long shot. Almost hope that he does that route, even though I don't think that family deserves any money. I don't think his son deserves any money. Like I, I don't. Um, but at the same time, I almost wish that book would come out under that, you know, under those guys, so we would know. But it is what it is. You know, it's a mystery. It's probably always going to be a mystery. But anyways, guys, let me know what you think down in the comments, and I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this bad boy up. Hope you guys have an amazing uh, Tuesday. Hope you all crushing some tacos on this Taco Tuesday. You know, get ready. Prime yourself. You know what I mean? Cinco de Mayo is coming up, baby. So, uh, yeah. Much love, y'all. Uh, it's your boy, the Piscean Predator. And until the next video, y'all, much love. Peace.